Are you looking for peace of mind at your doorstep? Look no further. With the Blink Video Doorbell, your home's entrance is always within your control. Check out the link in the video description to learn more and get your Blink Video Doorbell on Amazon. Your home is in your hands. Vice President Kamala Harris accidentally referred to herself as president before catching it while speaking at a memorial service in Texas on Thursday, but the crowd absolutely loved it. The presumptive Democratic presidential nominee was in Houston to deliver the eulogy for late Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee along with other Democratic leaders, including former President Bill Clinton and First Lady Hillary Clinton. Harris was praising Jackson Lee's bill that made Juneteenth a federal holiday when she made the ironic slip up. As a United States senator, I was proud to co-sponsor and then as Precy as vice president, Harris said, quickly catching herself. It was my honor with the president, with the president, it was an honor, Harris emphasized with a huge smile acknowledging the mistake. But the crowd went wild. It broke into loud applause, cheers and laughter forcing the vice president to pause for a moment before continuing. It was my honor with our president Joe Biden to stand beside Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee, as our president signed her bill into law, Harris went on. Ahead of her remarks, Harris received a standing ovation as she walked to the podium. There were also several shout-outs from the crowd as she began to speak. Harris was in town to eulogize the late Texas congresswoman who passed away last month at the age of 74 just days before the vice president become the presumptive Democratic presidential nominee. House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries Reverend Jesse Jackson and several other prominent Democrats were also in attendance for the service. Harris received a hug from both Clintons before she spoke. It was the first time the two had been pictured with Harris since she became the presumptive nominee. The Clintons had almost immediately endorsed her bid after Biden exited the race. Harris remembered the congresswoman as a champion of justice as well as a person of deep faith and compassion and recalled working with her over the years in Congress. She truly was a force of nature, Harris said. When it came to her constituents there was no task that was too big or too small for the congresswoman. If it needed to be done, she made sure it was done and done right. The vice president called Jackson Lee one of the smartest and most strategic legislators in Washington, D.C. She also joked that when she would see the congresswoman walking down the hall she would almost want to hide because she knew whatever was on her mind. Jackson Lee would require a specific conversation about what she had on her mind. Then she would tell you exactly what she needed you to do to help her get it done, Harris said to applause. She never lost an opportunity to fight for the people she served.